Edge on Linux. Would you partake? Let's discuss. So I dropped a little poll on the Mastodon <clears throat> regarding the Microsoft Edge browser coming to Linux. And I did the poll and I asked if anyone would be interested in using it. And uh, unsurprisingly, I got a lot of people that are asking if the question was a joke. <laughs> no one around, I can take this off now. And in reality, it was not a joke actually. It was, it was quite sincere because I've had a few times where I've had to bust open a virtual machine and install a, uh, well, actually, Microsoft has these virtual machine images you can grab where it'll just be like Windows 8 with um, Internet Explorer still on it. They, they actually update these. You can download them and test web development stuff and anything that requires older browsers, you can test on there. I, if I can remember to find a link, I'll put the link down below. You can actually just download these images. They're clunky. They're awkward. And the last time I used it, I think I was using a, I think it was my X230, which I love the X230 ThinkPad, but it's a, running a whole virtual Windows 8 uh, just to test the website it was not very efficient. <laughs> it was it was clunky. So having <clears throat> having Edge browser locally on a Linux machine may not be bad. I don't know if it's going to offer things like they have the. Internet Explorer compatibility functions. I don't know if they, those are coming, but if, but it would be nice to have some way of testing because we have we do have clients that, that are like check everything on their Windows 10 machine with their Edge browser because that's the browser that comes with the computer. A good portion of people don't really like power users like like you and I may forget that the average user will simply use the software that's baked into their system. Oh, are they closed the gate? I was going to go in the gate. Looks like they have closed everything up super tight over here. Um, the city just had a record numbers of the virus, so they've been locking things down a bit more. I was not expecting that gate to be closed, because I go through that gate almost every day. I didn't go yesterday. That's probably when they did it. <laughs> Waited for me to not show up. It's always weird to me when they close up places like this, because, like, literally... Part of the reason I come here is because there's nobody here, <laughs> and now they're uh, they're trying to keep the nobody from coming here, who's not coming here anyways. Plus, I don't know if you can see right over there, but right over there, that's uh, that's just the street again. <laughs> so yes, um, I will actually have a version of the Edge browser on my Debian system. It's a little bit blasphemy. I think in a lot of people's eyes to do that but um, right now my options for testing some things is awkward virtual machine um, installing a, and buying a license for Windows 10 which I do have a Windows 10 hard drive somewhere but it's a completely different machine plus I think I think I need to activate that still I have the $15 license I don't know if I actually put it in or not um, <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, so you got, you got, um, virtual, virtualization, um, secondary computer or full Windows 10 OS, or the third option is installing Edge when it becomes available, and I will, I feel like that is the least clunky, and, um, <clears throat> in my head, if it can be, like, in some kind of containerized secure system or something like that where even even if it's in a package I can just remove the deb um, that would be ideal it'll probably be only available as a snap seems to how Microsoft and canonical are in cahoots and so that's probably what they'll do I do have a few snap packages unfortunately the newer versions of screen copy which I use to mirror my phone on Linux is well, I can't seem to compile it by hand, 
so I've been using the snap version and it works really good. But you know, there again, you're in that proprietary trap once more. There's a lot of people over here. I didn't realize the amount of noise. I made it to the park. Just like I wanted. My favorite little park by my house. This place brings me so much joy. So I guess when it comes to the debate of snaps, what do you think is evil or really? I mean, Canonical makes snaps. Uh, Microsoft and Canonical are in cahoots together. And let's face it, anything that they deploy, they're usually going to have a snap version first. But um, I'll say this, when it came to VS Code, which is, I think, the most popular Microsoft application on the Linux platform, there is a deb, there is a snap, and there is a flatback. So if uh, Edge Browser is available on Flatpak, that's probably the way I'm going to go because even though they are not perfect, Flatpaks have really made my entire platform um, a bit modern. As a Debian stable user, all the packages are uh, often quite ancient. And to be able to just grab a fresh copy of Came Live or Ardor or uh, I'm trying to think whatever else I use. Um, the flat pack situation has made that much more uh, digestible and approachable for what I want to do. So um, there's that. If you did not join my little poll on Mastodon, which I think got pretty good traction, I might say, and you decide that you want to have some input on this whole would you use Edge on Linux, please feel free to leave your comments down below and uh, I'll probably be in and out of the comment section um, for a little while after I post this. And uh, that's it, guys. Catch you on the next one.